Welcome to Find Woodworking News for March 29th. I'm Ben Strano, and I keep finding Unisaw inserts around my shop, even though I haven't had a Unisaw for at least nine months. We didn't do Find Woodworking News last week. We were shooting a video workshop with Bob Van Dyke down at the Find Woodworking shop, making his fancy table saw jigs, and it's gonna be a great video workshop. Be on the lookout for that. But there also just plain wasn't that much news. So here we are with a bunch of news, because two weeks worth of news. Before we get started, I wanna forward promo that we're gonna give away an unlimited membership this episode, uh, and I will tell you how you can enter to win an unlimited membership to findwoodworking.com. I'm gonna dangle that out in front of you for a little bit because maybe I'm turning into a YouTuber, I don't know. Tools. All right, Veritas. Box makers, plow plane, how cool and cute is this? Overwhelmed. I am overwhelmed with cool and cute vibes out of this tool. So, I, I sometimes I think people at Veritas sit there and have meetings and they think, how can we get Ben Strano to buy something? They like seep into my, my consciousness and my internet search history and nail it. This is just a small plow plane for a very reasonable price. Like, Block plane price. I love this. And I've always wanted to have a plow plane for making grooves in teeny tiny boxes. I don't know why. It's just seemed like something my heart desires for years now. In fact, I bought used the Veritas combination plane just for that very purpose. And then my kid needed a bike and I sold it. But I, I ah, this is awesome. So this is going on a list of tools that Ben wants to buy one day. Happy to see that Festool is making the TS-75 EQ available again. I saw it on Lee Valley. I think I saw it on Rockler. I might have seen it on Woodcraft. Yes, the TS-75 is alive and well and available. It looked like it was being discontinued for a while or replaced with another saw. I was wrong if I said that. I think I did. Boom. $7.99 for the 75 without track. Heading on over to Blue Spruce Toolworks. Blue Spruce is making this super cool looking marking gauge and a uh, traditional-ish style marking gauge. But this feature right here is what I think sets it apart from a lot of traditional style marking gauges. Normally the blade is not at the very end of the, what would you call it? The post, the stem, I don't know. The marking gauge, not at the very end of the marking gauge. And on the blue spruce one, it is right up against the end of the marking gauge. So you can use it to transfer the depth of something a lot like you do with a lot of wheel style marking gauges. So to me, this is kind of the best of both worlds. Good looking tool, it comes in black, aluminum, and the bluest of blues, blue spruce blue. I love it. Like blue suede shoes, blue. It's great. Related to Blue Spruce, uh, over at Woodpeckers, they have this super simple physical stop reference fence gauge. The thing that I really like about this is a lot of times Woodpeckers um, is more complicated than a simple person like me needs. And I like that they are totally willing to manufacture just a super simple tool that works. And if you're looking for just a simple, quick fence gauge for your table saw, something to get a little bit of repeatability when you move the fence, if you need that, check this out. I am a fan of Bad Axe saws, as can be proven, because I've bought two of them. No, I bought this one, and I won this one at Woodworking in America 2015. So no, I lied. I bought this one, won this one. The fit and finish on their saws is spectacular. And quite honestly, I'm a woodworker and I'm, I'm a pretty good woodworker. It would take me a long time to make a handle that nice. And that's why I am very happy to see that they are making finished frame saws now. Um, they have cherry and maple finished frame saws available. If you have been wanting a frame saw and didn't want to go the kit route and wanted the fit and finish of a bad axe, boom, there you go. Look at this thing. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's, it's, it's just pure sexy. 12 inch, three horsepower, Powermatic. 
We all want it. We do. We all want it. Woodcraft.com. That's all I got to say. Also over on woodcraft.com, uh, Easy Inlay is making these cool little pre-cut um, shell inlays. So if you are looking to add fancy inlays to your work, they have abalone and I think mother of pearl, and I think there was some red shell kind of thing, but pre-cut shapes, you know, tack it down with glue, outline it, route it out, lay it in. You don't need to mess with cutting the shell, which is, trust me, the most finicky and annoying part of doing shell inlays. Jet is making this adorable little shaper that will still mangle you to pieces if you let it, but an adorable little shaper. It's one and a half horsepower shaper, small footprint. I've got a buddy who has something similar to this. And if you have a small shop, small-ish shop like I do, a, another table saw size implement is not gonna work. But this shaper is much more reasonably sized and $1,900, woodcraft.com. Also from Jet over on woodcraft.com, I see a 1632 oscillating drum sander. I have a 1632 drum sander. I have one of the old Jets. I love it, but boy, would it be cool to have an oscillating drum sander. That's just the next level up. But if you're looking for a 1632 size drum sander and you got a little extra change, $2,100, that can make all of your veneer sanding dreams come true easily. Also, Woodcraft.com, they really, like the web producer really went to town this week. Uh, four inch Nylox flat brush. Mike Pekovich uses something similar to this on his Wange finish when he makes boxes. They come in different grits. I think there was three or four different grits. Next wave, we talked about a, uh, a foam spoil board kit, I believe by another manufacturer a couple weeks ago. Next wave is making it for their 520 CNC machine. And little known fact, super exciting fact, Next Wave recently sent us a 520 for the Fine Woodworking Shop. It is on my to-do list of things to set up and start playing with. So I don't think we have the foam spoil board kit. I think MDF will be just fine for our uses, but it's good to know that if the need arises, we have the option. And my wife just pulled in. She's talking to the dog. She's really talking to the dog. I want to let everyone know about a couple new classes going on over at finewoodworking.com slash e-learning. Uh, Introduction to Surface Carving with Michael Cullen is bound to be a great class. I am interested in sitting in on it. And Michael's work, his carving work especially, just kind of mind-blowing to me. And I want to start including surface carving and decoration that he does and the work that I do. And also... Furniture Design for Woodworkers with our very own Mike Pekovich. Uh, I was a part of this class. It's a great class. I took it in person at Connecticut Valley School of Woodworking, and I designed my favorite piece I've ever designed in that class. And if you want to be like me and design your favorite piece that you've ever designed, I really recommend Mike's methods. And I think that watching him go through a complete piece beginning to end, the design process of a complete piece beginning to end, is enlightening and inspiring. And I think Michael will get your creativity flowing. And so yeah, head on over to finewoodworking.com slash e-learning, link below. Oh, and that brings us to the giveaway, unlimited giveaway. So over here, I have six squeezy bottles of something. The first person to tell me what is in each of those squeezy bottles gets an unlimited membership. So leave your comment below what your guess is, what you think it's gonna be. I'm willing to bet no one gets it. Just gonna say. But I'm happy to have you try. The first person to get it gets an unlimited membership to findwoodworking.com. So it's like a $100 prize right there. Taylor Toolworks, Wood Owl 18 inch ship augers. This is not a woodworking thing. I normally wouldn't post about this because they're so big, but the price is unbeatable. I mean, five eighths inch, 18 inch ship auger for $21.59. Uh, like these prices are incredible. Um, it's an overstock item, a clearance item, whatever overstock it says. Only downside to this is there's no three quarter inch. And I think that's the one that most of us would want. An inch and a half ship auger for $47. Like you could probably 
scrap it for more than that. I don't, that's a lie. But geez, that's awesome. Over on toolnut.com, uh, Nova looks like they have a comment to DR, I want to call it a Dr. Midi lathe. I mean, I think we should just agree to call it a Dr. Midi lathe, right? Let's just call it a Dr. Midi lathe, please, okay? $625.99 for a nice looking Midi lathe. Another tool that I normally wouldn't cover, I'm not big on covering cordless tools here because they're they're changing so often and most of the time they're not really meant for woodworkers, but uh, Bosch is making two quarter sheet orbital finish sanders, which finish sanders I think are unsung heroes in the woodworking world. If you were in the Bosch ecosystem, this looks like a cool buy. They have a 12 volt and they have an 18 volt version. Somebody should tell somebody that they're using the same photo for the 12 volt and the 18 volt version. Grizzly, I'm, I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. I'm digging the 40th anniversary colors, the additions, they look good. Two horsepower hybrid saw, hybrid saws I think are a great bang for your buck. The downside to a hybrid saw is generally that the trunnions are mounted to the table, so it's a little bit more finicky to get everything perfectly lined up. I had a hybrid saw years ago and I got it lined up once and never thought about it again. Thousand bucks, good looking saw. And last but certainly not least, Wood Tech self -clo Why, Ben, why are you talking about drawer slides? Because I am curious about these. Wood Tech self closing full extension epoxy coated drawer slides. First off, these look like half extension or three quarter extension drawer slides to me. They don't look like self closing. Nothing about the description and the photo match up, but I believe Woodworker Supply, I hope this is true. This looks like a fantastic buy at for 14 inch 80 cents. I don't know how that's possible. If this is in fact full extension, self-closing, they come in two sizes, 14 inch and 24 inch. I think we should all buy a gross. I don't, maybe we could go in together and buy a gross. Who's in? You know, honestly, I don't think the logistics of us going in together and buying a grow, I, it, it, it would just get weird. Because what if we, what if we got into a fight? Check it out, maybe buy one. Let us know in the comments if they're self-closing in full extension. If they are, whew, that's cool. So yeah, so I guess that does it for this week's two weeks, whatever episode of Fine Woodworking News. If you think I missed anything, please let us know. Um, if you have, you know, questions or comments, you can email them to me at woodworkingnews at taunton.com, right there, or even better, leave a comment below. The conversation in the comment section is really, I get a lot of emails directly to me and that's great. I love hearing from you all, but that is only talking to me and I wanna get everyone talking and YouTube engagement and blah, blah, blah. We'll see you next time at Fine Woodworking News. Head on over to finewoodworking.com slash e-learning to find out more about those courses. And there will definitely be links to all of these things below in the doobly-doo. Have a good one.